I got sidetracked. Just, you know, it's a day of sidetracked. I don't know what to say. Anyway, I'm going to finish what I'm Good morning, people. It is Sunday morning, January 31st, 10.47 a.m. We have had a slow go of it today for no particular reason, except that we can. I've got my computer working. It's finally, I've got all the glitch, the glitches for the moment worked out for the class. I'll be teaching with a group of artists um, in late spring, early summer, and my video is finally loading. Yay! <laughs> So that's like the focus for today. And then I need to edit last week's vlog and get that loaded and scheduled. And um, I got some new designs put into the Dropbox design folder that the companies I work with can see. And I'm gonna work on a new set of sticker flakes. But first I need my computer to just go ahead and load this class. I don't wanna interrupt it and have something go wrong. So we're gonna let it do its thing. And when it's done, hopefully it won't take too long, but when it's done, then I can do the rest of the stuff. Okay, so I started off by rearranging the table a bit, which I'm of which I'm not done, uh, and ended up having to stop and take a break and do some, um, use, I do a, the use it or lose it video for February and purge rubber, rubber stamps. There is a box. I'm going to have to get a large box. I don't at the moment have one, although I've created the listing already. It's filled with just rubber stamps and nothing else in their original CD cases. And I will link the use it or lose it video down below so you can see all of what it is in that box and the other box that I filled and an envelope full of ephemera tags, old artwork, like just stuff that was on the table that it just needed to go away. Um, so this is how things currently look over here. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you know that my tray here, which is one of the working tool parts of my desk, um, does get rotated periodically out. And the idea of having the tray and having things out is not only to have the journals accessible, but some of the parts and to have the parts out for a month or two and use them up or if I'm not gonna use them and they're still not speaking to me, then they go in a purge box or envelope and they have to go away. And so I started doing that this morning because it was well past due. I hadn't done it since the summer, I don't think. So I'm not done yet because I've got some of this to clean up. There's some stuff, I don't know if you can see it, behind the chair, behind the chair, let's see. That stack, that's gonna have to go through. And wait, 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 that stuff back there on the ironing board has to like, I have to do that. So. Um, I'm getting some stuff together for the patrons and supporters. While I'm doing this, I'm finding a few things, finding them some things that I want to keep and use that I kind of got lost in the chaos. And um, scanning some images I've painted recently to make some note cards. Um, I don't know at the moment if I'll be selling them in the Etsy shop or not, but I am going to be making note cards. I also have the Love Month sticker flakes that I need to um, get listed in Etsy, which I was in the middle of doing this when I started, I got sidetracked. Okay, so I got that done. I got February ready for the daily drawing books and ephemera parts to take downstairs. Um, I have the box for 2021 storage of notebooks drying. I just see a corner I have to stick a little bit more glue under maybe. Um, I got the table cleared off for the most part. Where's my iPad? Let's see it. Okay. Um, the iPad's normally not there, but I do play like some of your videos if you're a YouTuber, like while I'm working. Fun fact. Um, so we have the tray that is all done, and I have. For the next few months going forward, we're going to have a selection of rubber stamps out to use and enjoy. And then I'll be rotating them out on a monthly or bi-monthly or monthly or every other month basis. 
and that's going to be fun. And then I just left out the parts that I know I'm enjoying or I want to use or I want to keep. A lot of stuff went. I'm going to be getting another one of these for over here. It's a better use of the space and would organize all of these parts better um, and take up less table space. So we're going to be, this is good, but it'll be better by the end of the week. So I am going to stop there. I've got some stuff for the patrons organized back there. Still working on gathering things. I'm going to take one more look at my computer. Think about ordering some note cards and then turn it off for the day. I know, right? Yeah. I see raccoons walk across our security cameras all the time. They look like they're walking to the front door, but they're not. I don't know where they're going. It's so weird. Hey guys, I don't think I've vlogged yet today and it is, what time is it? It's Tuesday, February 2nd, and it is 2.13 p.m. I was listening to some YouTube while I was doing some more straightening up in my office. I was live for a bit today, and my computer did an update, which I was hesitant to do before we went live. <laughs> um, I haven't had any problems with the update, but I wasn't about to do it right before going live. Like, I've had enough problems lately with my Logitech webcam not playing nice with StreamYard, which is weird. It's probably a software thing. Anyway, what should I do? Um, but that's done. I got a couple cool journal pages done today. Let's see if I can just, rather than inserting a picture, let me see if I can just hold the journal up. So I was working with some of the gel prints I've made in the past with my art foamies. And I did this one, which... Oops, let me see what that says. Hold on. Yeah, I like that one. And then, this is challenging, one-handed. Okay, then we did this one, like the opposite color-wise of the other one, right? And it says that. And then, what? those are both some of my art foamies that I made some prints of them on the gel plate. So we did that. I've got three more of them here that I found when I was cleaning and sorting and purging. So I need to do something with them. Um, so they're just sitting here on the table. I was able to sort of declutter my table. I said yesterday that I was going to get a set of another set of pl clear plastic drawers. Um, I'll turn the camera around. Hold on. Okay, so the clear plastic drawers I use on my table, I've said in the past, they are actually from TJ Maxx. And this one here is a extra deep one with two drawers, and then it has this top piece where all that pens and glue are. And this actually, at the moment, it's holding all of my watercolor and gouache brushes. I had pencils in here, and that worked for a while, but then I was wanting to do other kinds of art, so I moved them around. The pencils are up there now. They didn't go away, um, but I like the extra deep one because if you have you have the option with it of putting pens and pencils in there because the drawers are deep enough. Otherwise, the drawers aren't deep enough for that. Not and to go this way, you have to put them in that way. But anyway, these drawers are nice and big, so I prefer that. And then at TJ Maxx they had this one, which has five drawers in it. And let me put that phone down. Let's see. There we go. It has five five drawers in it. And one of the drawers is really deep, so I have all my cutting um, tools and things in here. I have to label the new one because I haven't done that yet. Um, and again, this works really well because I'm able to really to keep, you know, all my some more painting um, accessory things that I wanted on the table. Um, and have them readily at hand and then the tray that we have over there we still have but it's more for the journals in progress uh, papers and things I want to use up along with um, there's some rubber stamps back there so once a month I'm going to 
change out the selection of stamp, rubber stamps right here so that I can stamp paper, painting papers, or I can use them in my journals or something. The idea is to get my rubber stamps out that I still have in my collection and use them on it because otherwise they're in the closet. I'm never using them. Um, anyway, and then just various like oddball bits and pieces right here. And then the new one here is stitching supplies. So this is all slow stitching supplies that were already on the table. Again, I don't want to put away because I am using them when I'm art, not art journaling, I'm stitching. But at the same time, they were taking up all, like all this table space because they, they were just flat one layer in little baskets and bins and they just were taking up a lot of room. And then it was hard to have room for like the water on the table and stuff like that. So this is better. And in the bottom, I have my most important tools in that my needles and my um, compression gloves and uh, my fabric basting glue sticks, thimbles, tape measure, beeswax, uh, marking chalk, and one needle that's not in the other thing. So this, whoop, this is a dull pointy like tapestry, like knitting. It's the kind of needle you use when you're knitting or crocheting to weave the yarn ends in and out. Um, I find it handy for something. So anyway, that's in there. And then we have thread, oops, thread, random floss, and then small bits, which I had in a muffin tin, which was great, but it just took up a lot of space. So now we have it in this drawer and these little metal trays these, so I have asthma, and these are from my daily steroid inhaler. <laughs> this is one of the packaging things that come packed, and, and I save them because they're useful. And so I have one with really tiny bits and a couple of clips, and then one with bigger bits and buttons in the back. And then I've got some, um, like, labels from fab, um, garments I've taken apart to use the pieces in um, slow stitching. And I save the label because, you know, why not? You can use it in some of your stitching. So anyway, and then we have the canisters here in the back. They're labeled. Everything is labeled except the new drawers. Um, my mixing palette and a little pitcher of water. Um, three pots of water. So dirty, less dirty. Oops, wait, no, wait. Dirty, less dirty, clean. So when you're painting, especially watercolor, you really need at least two. Usually, I need three usually. And usually by the time I'm done, all three of them are disgusting. Anyway, and then a rag. That works for me. Then I still have all of this room here. You can see the measurements on the table, so you can kind of guess it's about 50 inches long and about 18 inches deep of open workspace. That's great for me. That, that works just great. So anyway, I'm glad I got that done, and I didn't have to go anywhere. And I also found another small bits drawer in the live that... As I was getting ready for the drawers to come today, I realized, crap, I found another small bits drawer I need to clean out. I have too much stuff. I'm hoarding things again. <laughs> so anyway, we did that in my life. If you want to see what I did, watch the live. Anyway, that's it now. I'm going to take the trash downstairs and I think bring up my iPad so that I can watch some YouTube while I label drawers and maybe do a little art journaling. A little more art journaling. You get the idea. All right, I'll be back. Does anybody watch Summers in Alaska? I love that channel. They always start the videos off, good morning, happy peoples. You know, I love that. Anyway, good morning. 
Uh, I am obviously outside walking. I have a dentist appointment this morning to fix a crown that the dentist doesn't deem perfect. So she says, I want to fix it before it's a problem. And I said, okay. It doesn't cost me anything to have her fix it. So, okay. Anyway, you see that? There's a lot of water in the creek. Um, anyway, so I'm headed over there this morning. It's cloudy and a bit chilly. It's not supposed to rain. Um, I do have an umbrella in my pocket just in case. Um, the husband did tell me that if it does start raining, when I'm ready to come back to call him and he'll come get me. But in the meantime, I'm going to try walking over and get some steps in. So let's. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning, January 4th, I think. It's 10.08 a.m. ish, you know, car clock. It's not always super accurate. It's usually a couple minutes off. But anyway, um, it's about 10.08, 10.09, somewhere in there. We are obviously in the car. I have to go to the post office. I've got Etsy orders that are too big for the mailbox here at the house. And I've got a bag full of supporter mail that's got to go out. Most of which is just a single stamp mail. But there's a few international letters in there, so um, I need to take them down there. And get postage. And I need to check. I should them. say, yesterday I got a lot of like art business stuff done and art stuff done in the art room more than I expected after having dental work in the morning but that's kind of probably a good thing because the furnace people are coming but the one thing you don't know is the furnace closet and the equipment is in the art room so uh, you know they'll be protected and in PPE and I will when I need to be near them but I will be staying away from them if I can, so. Okay, I don't know how far I'm gonna get, but we're gonna find out. The heating and air conditioner young man is just left. He, we dropped a nice chunk of change with them, but we got some things fixed, um, some maintenance done and some things repaired that needed doing, which is good. So, uh, Roth Heating and Cooling, his name is Mike did a great job. I think that's his truck up ahead. Um, anyway, Bob has a bunch of late night work meetings, which is funny. It coincides with the day that the furnace guy was here, but anyway, um, so he can't go walking with me later. So I said, you know, I'm going to just go by myself. I know how to do that. It's a little bit looking like it's going to rain on me, but that's okay. I have a hood on my jacket. I did forget the umbrella, but that's okay. We'll see how far I get. All right, I'll be back. Roth Heating and Cooling, they did a great job. Very nice staff to work with too. Good morning, people. It is Friday morning, February 5th. Yes, I wanna say January, it's February already. It's just before 10 a.m. And I'm not Zooming today with the patrons, so uh, it's been a crazy busy week. So I told them I kinda of need a break. I think we're going to have like a private chat Zoom next week, either in the evening or maybe on the weekend. Uh, so if you want to be in on that and have sort of an arty party chatty thing on Zoom with me and them, you need to be a patron, a supporter over at Patreon or a member of YouTube membership. Links for both of which are in the description. Um, anyway, we will be doing them on a semi-regular basis throughout the year and... Sometimes we'll be recording, sometimes not. So mostly probably not. And uh, yeah, anyway, I, I think he thinks I have food. There you go, cute. Good morning, everybody. Do you see that over my shoulder? 
Yeah. They were just waiting there for me. They didn't go far. <laughs> anyway, good morning. It is Saturday morning, February something. I don't know. I have no idea. The 6th? I do want to say, so, you know, a few things life and the pand pandemic have taught us to don't waste time. Do what you love and enjoy things while you can because life is short. And so we are going to go look at this car and we're going to do that when we can travel. We're going to do that. Um, we, you know, we've been discussing more and more things we would have done differently and that we're going to do differently going forward, to be honest, because of the pandemic, because of lessons we learned because of the pandemic. We never thought when we moved, Bob would be working full time from home. We thought maybe part time. So that was why we moved close to his office. I love where we're living, but um, do we need to live so close to his office? Maybe not. I'm not saying anything definite, but yeah. So, and if he wants a sports car, let's buy a sports car. If, you know, when, the, when we're allowed to travel, let's travel. I've always wanted to see Maine. I've always wanted to see Scotland. There's a few places he would like to go. And so we're going to do them. We're not going to put stuff off anymore. Because why are you going to do that? You might never get it done. You might never have the chance. So do it now. All right. That being said, I'll be back. So Bob has gone off to test drive the car. I'm staying here. Um, I was going to wait in my Subaru. Right, right there. Bob took the car keys with him. So. Anyway, if you're seeing this clip, you've seen a clip of the car and how it sounds and how it's running. Sounds like a loose belt to me or something, but otherwise not bad. And um, it's got dual mufflers on the back. So it's definitely a quote unquote noisy car. Rebecca, you'll get the reference. Um, and, um, no leaks or anything. It looks pretty good. So Bob's going to test drive it and see what he thinks. And I sent a video message off to my dad to get his opinion. And then the negotiations start from there. I'll be back. I know this is going to be a weird ending to the video. I'm aware I am doing laps around the house. <laughs> because I'm a thousand, less than a thousand steps away from my goal. I'm trying really hard to do 10,000 steps a day for seven days in a row. This would be day four if I can do it, but I am, um, when I started doing these laps, I was only at like 8,200 or something. I'm at 9,000 and change. So I'm doing laps inside the house. Anyway, I set myself these goals and then, you know, uh, we'll, we'll get there. So anyway, it's been an eventful day. Bought a new car. Got the Super Bowl chili cooking. Um, got some of the painting papers that I did yesterday. Drip drying off of my rack. And of course I have... Um, drop cloths underneath the rack. Um, here's a tip for drop cloths in my um, art room. 
plastic shower curtains from Dollar Tree. They work great and they're super cheap. And if they get messed up, just ball them up and toss them out. Um, I tend to use them um, until they're literally like dead because they are plastic. So I don't want to necessarily just toss them in the trash until I absolutely have to. I do try to reuse them as much as possible. I'll turn some lights on while I'm doing this. Um, so, but yeah, they're super cheap and they work great. So I have those underneath um, a rack. It's a clothing rack actually, and I use it to dry papers. And it's on top of the shower curtains and there's some paper towels down there because some of the papers were really drippy. And it's all drying. So hopefully it'll be dry tomorrow. I don't know how I'm going to get my steps in tomorrow. Tomorrow's Super Bowl Sunday. Um, we have the kids coming over and it's going to be a challenge. That's okay. We'll get it done. Anyway, I hope you've all had a great week and that you're having a great day. That you're having fun playing with your art and that you're working through things in a healthy, constructive manner. And uh, if you need help with any of that, um, there's plenty of us over in my two Facebook groups to help with that. My life of, my life of, holy cow, I get them both confused. My creative year and a life of art and self-expression. Both links along with my other social media, my Etsy shop, ways to support the free content here on YouTube and in the Facebook art groups and more are all in my link tree list of links, including how to sign up for my monthly email newsletter. And that's where I announce usually first um, sales and things that I'm, are going on. I'm sorry, my arm's getting tired um, that are going on in the Etsy shop. And um, we are doing periodic sales in the Etsy shop inventory reduction sales um, just because I don't need to necessarily carry a lot of whoop, almost ran into a chair I don't need to carry a lot of stock um, because a lot of the things I can order drop ship to you from fact from the factory so from manufacturing so that works for me less overhead so anyway that's it for the minute uh, Bob and I both hope you've had a great week and uh, that you have a great week going forward Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear a mask and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Maybe try to get some steps in if you can. That's it for now. I'll be back next week. Bye, guys.